Hi, welcome back. This is Boomer Tech Guide Chris Toy, and today I'm looking forward to sharing with you a coffee pasta dessert. So let's get started. Uh, this shouldn't take very long, like maybe 15 minutes. So uh, we're going to start off with the coffee, and uh, we're just going to use uh, regular roast uh, coffee. But if you want to, you could use um, an espresso roast, which is a finer roast. Um, if you really don't want any kind of coffee bean in there, you could also gasp. Use instant coffee, and it would just kind of disappear. But we're going to uh, put in two scoops of coffee. If you don't like your coffee quite as strong, you could just put in one. And if you like it really strong, put in three. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add about a cup of sugar, not, not, not sugar, flour. I'm going to add a little bit less in case I need to put some in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this all together like that. And I'm just using the metal blade. And then we'll put in an egg. And as always, with the uh, food processor, the texture that you're looking for for pasta is small pellets that look like cooked couscous. So while that's processing, I want to make sure that that mixes well. You can see it's turning that uh, dark coffee color. We've got some water here boiling. So that's ready. And we'll take a look at this. And well, we're looking pretty good there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little pinch. And I, what I, I want to make sure that it stays together as a, as a dough without being sticky. And that's really good. I'm just going to process it for another 10 or 15 seconds. I just want to make sure that all the liquid is well mixed. And I found that um, this this comes together pretty quickly, and I think it's because there's oil in the coffee beans, which makes the uh, dough really moist, but not, not really sticky. I generally don't recommend that you add oil to a pasta that you're going to put in the, uh, through your machine. So I'm going to take about a golf ball sized piece here. That's about, a, that's about a helping. And what I'm going to do is put this, let's roll this right out. I have it, I started out on the widest setting. I'll just put that through a couple times before I go to a thinner setting. This, the uh, food processor really makes making the dough a shortcut. And I am going to uh, move to the thinnest setting pretty quickly. I'm now on the next to the thinnest setting. And now we're going to go right to the thinnest setting. And one more time. So you can see I'm just folding those rounded ends just so I get a 
Get a nice flat piece here. One more time. And the coffee's not even brewing and it smells pretty good. All right. So you can choose between making your fat fettuccine noodles or the thin spaghetti. I'm going to go with the thin noodles. I'll put that right through there. And when that's about two thirds of the way through, I will just use a chopstick to catch the pasta. So we'll move right over here. We've got some boiling water. You don't need to put any salt or anything like that in it. And we'll just tip that right in. And we'll give it a quick stir. It only takes a minute for this pasta to cook. And now it does smell like brewing coffee. There we go. So while that's boiling, let me just kind of talk about how we'll, uh, since we're in a hurry, what I've got over here is an ice bath of water. And what I'll do is when the uh, pasta is cooked, I'll drain it in the sink and then I'll dump the noodles into the ice bath and then we'll just um, cool those off really quickly before we, uh, we plate them and add our whipped cream and powdered chocolate. So it's been about a minute. So that's done. So let's drain these. the hardest part, draining it without losing the, uh, the noodles. And then we'll just put those right in the ice bath. So if you're not in a hurry, you can, uh, you can skip the ice bath and just use cool water. Let me just pull these last two ice cubes out. And we'll put that right in there. All right. Some people will say uh, this is my favorite part, whipped cream, but we'll just Put a little bit of cream on top and we'll sprinkle some chocolate and try this. Yum. Thanks for joining us. And we'll see you next time.